peace be with you. This video is about wisdom or hikmah in Arabic, about what God says wisdom is in the Quran. And all of us as human beings, all of us want wisdom. All of us recognize that whoever is wise or has been given wisdom by God has been indeed given a great gift. In the second chapter of the Quran, Surah Baqarah, in the verse 269, we're told, He grants wisdom or hikmah to whomever he pleases, and whoever has been given hikmah or wisdom, he indeed has been given a great good, and none but people of understanding mind. And although human beings have various definitions for the term wisdom, God tells us in the Quran what he has revealed to us of wisdom, so we have to recognize that whatever is revealed in that block of verses is the greatest wisdom accessible to human beings. In the 17th chapter of the Quran, starting with verse 22 and ending with uh, verse 39, we are told, And do not associate with God any other God, lest you sit down despised and neglected. And your Lord has commanded that you shall serve none but Him and goodness to your parents. If one or both of your parents reach old age with you, do not say to them as much as oof, nor raise your voice at them, nor berate them, and speak to them kind words. And make yourself submissive and gentle to them with compassion, and say, My Lord, please have mercy on them, for they raised me when I was a child. Your Lord knows best what is in your minds, so if you are good, then surely he is forgiving to those who turn back frequently. And give to the relatives their due, and the needy, and the traveler, and do not squander wastefully. Surely the squanderers are fellows of the devil, and the devil is always ungrateful to his Lord. And if you turn away from them to seek the mercy of your Lord which you hope for, then speak to them kind words. And do not make your hand shackled to your neck, nor stretch it out to its limits, lest you sit down blamed and stripped off. Surely your Lord makes plentiful the means of sustenance for whom he pleases, and he decreases it. Surely your Lord is aware of seeing of his servants. And do not, kill your do not kill your children out of fear of poverty. We provide for them and for you. Surely to kill them is a great wrong. And do not go near to fornication or zina in Arabic. Surely it is an indecency or fawahisha and an evil way. And do not kill anyone whom God has forbidden except for the requirements of justice. And whoever is killed unjustly, we have indeed given to his heir authority. So let him not exceed the just limits in killing. Surely he is helped. And do not approach the property of an orphan except in the most righteous way until they reach maturity and fulfill your promises. Every promise shall be asked about. And give full measure when you measure out and weigh with a true balance. Surely this is fair and better in the end. And do not follow that of which you do not have knowledge. For surely the hearing and the sight and the heart, all of these shall be asked about that. And do not go in the earth arrogantly. Surely you cannot bore through the earth nor reach the mountains in height. All of it, the evil of it, is hateful in the sight of your Lord. And then we are told, and this is what your Lord has revealed to you of hikmah, of wisdom. And do not associate with God any other godly issues should be thrown into hell, blamed, and cast away. Now, all of these, everything that's mentioned as hikmah here is also mentioned as sirat al-mustakim in uh, chapter 6, chapter of the Quran, verses 151 to 153. So you have the same concepts in the Quran that are mentioned as sirat al-mustakim and hikmah, and we, we should be sure that this is what wisdom and the straight path are, are made of, and this is what is ultimately the most important part of the Quran. And if you think about these precepts, you will realize that this is what most of life is made of. Although we kind of ignore the simplicity of it and at the same time ignore the importance of this, this is what life is made of. And whoever recognizes the importance of these simple concepts will, rec will have a good life. And this is wisdom. This is wisdom. So God tells us for uh, first part, don't associate any other God with God, right? When we're talking about associating God with anything else with God, we're talking about taking something as important as God. So God basically is telling us when we are told not to commit shirk, we are told to make God and what God wants the most important things in our life. Nothing is as important. That's what that means. And then God tells us on how to, uh, you know, how to be good to our parents. And you're going to realize this, how important this is to a parent once you are a parent. And you should just have faith in God, right? Believe God to understand that this is important. And if you are like this, it, it does take some effort. 
and you're not going to be perfect by any means, but you are going to make your life better and life of your parents better. And these are the only people that actually care for you. And you are the only reason why you're alive, why I'm alive, is because they actually put forth effort. And you only truly recognize this when you have kids. And it's important. This is a huge part of your life, right? Of all of our lives. You're either a parent or you are a child to somebody. So this is like a huge part of our life. And then God tells us uh, when we are, then uh, uh, talks to us about money, right? Don't give too much. Don't give too little. If you're not going to give anything, you know, talk to people, good words, don't squander wastefully, right? That is, uh, again, a huge part of our money, how we manage our finances and how we give charity and who we give to. God says, you know, give to the relatives, your family, their due and the needy and the travel and do not squander wastefully, right? And then tells us, you know, the squanderers are friends of the devils. And they're ungrateful to God. So, uh, you know, that's another thing, a huge part of our life. So to be fiscally responsible is a part of wisdom. You are wise if you are this. Uh, and then God talks to us about, you know, killing our children. You know, it's like you have to be a special kind of stupid not to realize that killing your children is bad and to be fooled by language, like, for example, the word uh, abortion. So it's it's tragic. And, and once you do that... It's very, very hard to come back and ask for forgiveness, even though God will forgive you. It's hard to, to like recognize, admit this. I have killed my own child. It's very, very difficult. So it's, uh, you know, it's wise not to fall for those tricks. You know, it is wise not to go near fornication or zina because it is an evil way. And, and you, you will see the the effects of, of zina or fornication on society are, are, are humongous. Most of killing of children, what we call abortion, is because of zina, is because of people having sex outside of marriage, and then you have all these epi sexually transmitted diseases and epidemics of that, and 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 broken homes and bad people who attract each to who are attracted to each other initially just for sex, and then they get in these relationships, and and divorce rates are like over fifty percent in the United States. So you know, if you just stay away from those kind of people, you will have a much better life. Of course, God tells us not to kill anyone who God has forbidden, so that's that should be a no-brainer. Uh, do not approach the property of an orphan except in the most righteous way. If you do that, really, you are going after the most vulnerable uh, members of our society, and you are just a dirtbag. Uh, you know, to be fair in business, uh, and for and then not to follow that which we do not have any knowledge, right? That's a big one. It's pretty wise not to just be naive like that, and then not to be arrogant and, and just to recognize the evil results of all of these behaviors. So this is very, very important. So a wise person will sit down and, and constantly read these things and think about how they affect them, their families, and their societies. And this is what our God has revealed to us of hikmah, of wisdom, and it's very, very important to recognize this. Peace be with you.